I'm Kate Kunkel, the founder of Brain Health Matters, a series of courses, programs, and videos just like this, all designed to help you become healthier so your brain can become happier and stronger. I'm here today a whole lot excited because my newest book, The Vegan Brain, has hit number one again. It's still hanging out in number one in a few categories. And my next book, The Plant Lover's Guide, Fast Start Guide, to uh, essential nutrition for a healthier brain will be released this Friday. So it's it's all about looking after our brains, our health and our diet. And my guest today is going to be helping us immensely in that regard. Welcome, Lisa. Thank you. Thank you, Kate. Thank you for having me on. I'm so excited. I'm excited to be with you. So uh, I'll let our guests, our our viewers know a bit about you. Lisa is a vegan acupuncturist and optimal health coach. She lives in San Jose, California, and is known as the champion for the voiceless, both the animals and the inner doctor. Lisa has been vegan for 11 years and vegetarian for 17 years before that. Lisa founded the Center for Healing by Design, a nonprofit organization with the mission to empower vegans vegetarians, and compassionate people worldwide with revolutionary self-care education, experience, and tools to help them get in touch with their inner doctor and live healthy and compassionate lives in harmony with Mother Earth and all living beings. And I am so honored to have you here, Lisa, to to learn and to absorb some of that wonderful energy of yours. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> well, me too. I am experiencing your positive energy vibes coming my way. Thank you, Kate. Oh, and my congratulations point. on your vegan brain book. I'm so excited. You know what this tells us in this month of Veganuary, I really believe that many people are, are looking for ways to, to improve their health, to be more in alignment with the planet with, with those who are voiceless. I love how you, you word that. We're, we're helping the voiceless and the inner doctor. So let's talk about how our inner doctor can be voiceless because I think a lot of people, especially at this time in history, are feeling very much that that is the case. Absolutely, Kate. Um, and our inner doctor is truly voiceless and also... Uh, unconditional, um, you know, loving to us uh, since ever since we're born, not even, uh, even be earlier before that, even when we're in mother's womb, our inner doctor has been with us on day one, uh, when we, uh, when we form <laughs> as a little fetus, fetus uh, in our mom, mom's womb, believe it or not. And and we don't know, we have no clue. And uh, as we, you know, live through life uh, until we get uh, education or someone uh, like me to come and tell us that, that um, you know, your body uh, is a highly intelligent, full of wisdom, uh, self healer. Uh, you could call somebody lo- loves to call it the inner healer, or I like to call it inner doctor because it, it is the the most intelligent doctor that we have with us. Um, as the Nobel Prize uh, uh, winning physician, Dr. Albert Schweitzer, have uh, a famous quote that I use as my motto is that. We are all carry our own doctor inside us, but we don't know. And when we are, um, when we uh, can let that doctor do its job and work, then we are at our best. Oh, and- I couldn't agree more. I couldn't <laughs> agree more. So um, let's talk a little bit about your profession and how that helps us learn to talk to and listen to our inner doctor, and specifically how that can help us improve our overall health. And of course, ultimately our brain health. What does acupuncture have to do with all of this? So um, as most of uh, people know, or have experienced acupuncture, even though those who don't know, um, uh, the Based the foundation is that we um, our skin is one of the largest organ in the body that wrap us you know wrap 
uh, uh, our body around on the very outer layer of our body. Um, uh, in the textbooks, actually, is still the largest organ in the body. But uh, in the latest uh, science and, and research now, there's, there's another organ that's even bigger than the skin, the interstitial fluids in the body, actually. Um, but now it's the second largest uh, organ in the body, the being the skin. And when uh, and the skin, uh, the way we were born in the body, uh, the uh, how our baby develop in the brain, um, there are uh, different parts of the body gets formed first. So uh, so there are connections uh, that the body uh, uh, different parts of the body gets uh, have more connection to the rest of the body depending on. Uh, at which time they are formed uh, in the very first uh, trimester. So, but then the skin uh, end up to be the, like the, um, the control panel, <laughs> what we'll say, to the body for us to actually um, uh, uh, have interaction into the uh, internal uh, parts of our body, that doesn't matter which part. So therefore, uh, anything that uh, can press on our skin or stimulate our skin will activate those connections into so it, any So it doesn't have body. to be a needle. It can be anything that touches exactly. the skin. Exactly, yes. Even though, well, that's how acupuncture was formed 5,000 years ago is people who, um, the, the cavemen, <laughs> if you imagine, they use their stones <laughs> or their fingers, uh, to somehow trial and error to figure out how pressing on certain parts of the body heals them <laughs> from you know their pain, aches and pains and things. And uh, of course, they they discover that the finer, the more focused the stimulation, the more effective, the faster the the ah. healing. So that's how they come with probably come up with the needle. Um, however. Uh, what I discover from my my clinical uh, experience, um, putting uh, the uh, seeds or very or, or using uh, uh, just uh, not so sharp object, but the pointy objects like like a probe, just like a like a stylus, uh, or even your ballpoint pen, uh, can do this pretty much the same. Uh, um, uh, function as the uh, acupuncture needle. And oh, actually, so I have a question yeah. then, mm -hmm. because yeah. um, I've heard the term acupressure yes. as opposed to acupuncture. So acupressure would just be that, then something it, like that. that. Yeah, that is the formal, formal word for uh, acupuncture without needles, ah. basically using any other objects that doesn't penetrate the skin but still achieve the effectiveness of uh, activating the healing. Because the, oh, the whole idea of acupuncture and acupressure work is that our body knows the wisdom how to heal. Uh, all we are doing is to give it a hand, our inner doctor a hand to boost the certain uh, healing, focus on certain parts of the body, and uh, basically, essentially what we're doing by stimulating certain points in our body, we increase blood flow. And when we increase blood flow, well, guess what? That uh, helps the body to um, uh, deliver the nutrients, right? That we take into the body and, and the blood flow was like the highway to carry the nutrients to the body parts that needs uh, boosting, uh, at boosting the function, uh, healing uh, any kind of wounds, clearing any information. Um, so, so still, um, it still rely on uh, us putting in the right nutrients in the sure in the blood. Oh. Of course, if you, we don't, we don't, we, we we eat junk food, and we you know uh, even the the processed vegan food still cause all the, uh, the information and. So it's like how we can help our inner doctor build our body every day with, uh, 
it's what we give it, right? It's the raw material. And so that it should be very common sense, very simple. It's not rocket science. <laughs> Boy, I agree with you. And you know, the, the bottom line is, and I've said this so many times, this is not rocket science. I use that term all the time. All you have to think is logically, if it's packaged, if it's processed, if it's far away from its natural state, whatever it is that you're putting into your body, your body has a really rough time figuring out what to do with it. And, and these people, and I know, because this whole idea, I just watched a really funny lady on YouTube yesterday. She's a vegan and she's saying, you know, there are a lot of really unhealthy vegans and it's true. <laughs> and I was one of them 40 years ago when I tried it the first time, because I didn't understand how important this whole food process was back then. I was just concerned about the animals back then. That was the reason I did it. But as I, as I've become much more conscious of my body and, and what goes into it and my brain specifically, you can see the difference if you eat something that is, is processed, you can almost feel your inner doctor tells you, I don't know what to do with this crap. I don't know how to, I don't know what to do with it. So I would like you to talk also about in your practice, because when we had our first conversation, you were saying what a difference it makes when you, when you treat people for whatever conditions, what difference it makes when they are eating whole foods, when they are, are going through something. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, like you, um, when I was a vegetarian, um, and, and then even when I become, uh, it was, uh, I, I didn't become vegan until uh, 11 years ago. And when I see my clients, I, I become vegetarian also for the animals first, um, just like you. Um, but, but when I, um, uh, was practicing uh, acupuncture and my clinic, and I see that my vegan clients heal faster than my non-vegan clients, those who are eating uh, meat or even the vegetarians who are eating the eggs, the cheese and milk, the dairy product, which still animal protein, um, they are still uh, have a hard time to heal um, compared to my uh, fully vegan uh, diet um, clients. And I do guide them to um, have a whole food plant-based diet rather than the junk food diet, uh, vegan diet. But right. it's, it's, I learn from my clients. Those, my patients are my teachers. So when I see that uh, being vegan heals faster, then I really um, uh, become, I choose to become a vegan myself because I see this is definitely the way uh, to work with the inner doctor best. And, and what I discover later as um, I see miracles in my clients, um, the, the acupressure that I teach them um, uh, uh, to direct their, their healing um, and also in diagnosing their conditions the, the inner, uh, our inner doctor really prefers a vegan diet because when we have uh, uh, vegan, uh, not vegan, but the, the animal protein in our diet, I 100% uh, every time for sure, I will be able to see inflammation built up in the body. At different locations of the body, uh, different uh, based on each person's uh, situation, but for sure, um, the reproductive system uh, mm -hmm. mainly will have will, will will have inflammation signs or even sometimes masses. Like for example, a a client of mine who came to me, uh, being ve vegetarian, he was she was just eating um, dairy, eggs, and cheese. It, she thinks she's so healthy, but uh, but when I do the ear reading, I I, uh, I use acupressure to check the ear, and I find she has uh, an ovarian cyst um, in uh, in her ear and the ovarian point, and she even felt the pain herself. 
And so I help her make that connection. You have the this ovarian cyst, the, um, the fluid buildup is because you taking the animal protein, the dairy, the egg, because those food products come with all the growth hormones, the antibiotics, and uh, but but then she doesn't know because there's no pain. She uh, there's no nerve ending in the ovary. Right. But then the ovarian cyst is, um, and I find that like ninety um, percent of um, women walking around with ovarian cysts in the body they don't know, especially those uh, having animal proteins. But then they they the cysts will uh, develop into ovarian cancer which is oh. fourth leading uh, killer for women and um so so the doc the inner doctor actually been telling us warning through our our what i call the control panels in our body these special parts that has a uh, complete connection to our body so anytime these um, inflammation happen at the earliest stage. The, the inner doctor actually tell us, but only because we don't know where to look for those information to do self-checking, we do not uh, have any clue until the, the cyst becomes tumor. Uh, and then we have pain, we have low back pain. And until the tumor is that big, then right. it's too late to do anything uh, other than the standard standard uh, cancer care yeah. treatment, which is, which is not care. So let's it's, go back exactly. to this, to how to, how to look at that. You have a slide show. You have some slides yeah, that I would like I our viewers to. to see about how they can utilize the information you have to um, analyze what, what's going on. Yes. I love to, um love to show that you know uh these three i'll just show you three of the many control panels in our body that has connection to the whole body and if there's anything wrong with the body you can actually feel pain <laughs> when you when you massage these special parts and um so literally you can scan your body in a, just a, a minute or less. Wow. So you see these connections to the whole body uh, on your brain in this case, because we bring talking about brain. So we, we start with the brain control panel. And then there's another one that is my specialty is the ear control panel, I call. And uh, it is, um, the ear is like the mini map of the body, like we are fetus in mom's womb, upside down. You see the head is on the bottom. So therefore you can see here our brain is at the bottom <laughs> and the earlobe area. So, so I have, I teach my students and my clients, you guess what? You can detect when a, when a headache is coming on, even before you feel it, you can feel the pain when you uh, touch your ear and the brain part. And then you can, by, mesh, by massaging it in uh, the special way I teach, then you can actually, in a minute, clear that headache. So you will never have the he headache come on. So wow. how cool is that, right? And then for um, uh, like football players, that some of my clients are... are uh, Super Bowl uh, champions and football players, they have all the concussion, you know, from playing the sport. And when you when I uh, check their ear and in that brain part, it will be very painful because of the concussion, the blood, the blood clots and all the plaques build up over time. And these um, football players are also the ones that develop dementia early because yes, of they do. their yeah. concussion. So yeah. they, they're, 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 that part of the ear will be very painful when I check them with the probe. Wow. And, and then the, another uh, fun part to, to self-check is the hands. 
And guess what? So the middle finger maps to our brain, the head. So, uh, um, so whether it's whether you have pain in the front of the head or back of the head or inside the head, when you press on your middle finger on the tip, you will feel pain. <laughs> huh. and, and when you do these massages um, you know, daily, regularly, you will ensure to boost the circulation to your brain and delivering uh, all the nutrients from your food. That's why the connection between what you put into your body makes all the difference. And then the, the um, then pressing the these brain areas will make sure you have good blood flow to the brain and clear the foggy brain and clear any discomfort. People have vertigos uh, or headaches or and this will prevent plaque buildup, uh, believe it or not, in the brain, for causing tumors. Um, uh, uh, which lead to brain cancer or dementia or Parkinson's or um, uh, Alzheimer's. All the brain diseases is come from first bad circulation, second bad food causing inflammation in the brain, uh -huh. and uh, over time they will you know become tumors and plaques yeah. and causing all the brain diseases. So we can we can. Um quickly i mean this is relatively simple let's get back to looking at your your beautiful face here mm -hmm. lisa um i'm so i want to know how our viewers can take advantage of this i mean that was brilliant a few pictures but um can can you teach them how to do that that's exactly what i do in my classes i teach uh people how to um do the self check self care um not just the brain, but every part of the body. And uh, so build this uh, healthy habit, uh, especially those young families, uh, parents, I love them to learn it so that they could teach it to their kids. This is something, uh, you know, a, a kids, four year old kids can do um, every day, like brushing their teeth. Um, oh. Imagine uh, if you build this healthy habit, um, you will check, you know, have a habit of talking to your inner doctor and working with the inner doctor and let the inner doctor tell you at the earliest time, if there's something happened, you can easily prevent it but, um, from, you know, serious problems happen down the road. You don't need to have surprises anymore. That's the biggest <sighs> benefit. Oh, I love that. Lisa, I would like you to tell people how they can learn more from you. What, what, what's the best way to reach you and, and to get involved and, and figure out how their, how their bodies are working right now? Thank you. Thank you, Kate. So um, my, my uh, website is www.centerforhealingbydesign.org. We are a 501c nonprofit, and I have a, for, for those people who are dealing with chronic pain uh, or any chronic issues, I have a free online masterclass, which uh, they can access at chbdworkshop.org. Say that for me again, chbd. chbdworkshop.org. Okay, I'm putting that in the chat here so that people who are with us here can see it. And then um, on the show notes, I'll make sure that we have that as well so that people can take advantage of it. Lisa, this has been so interesting. And, and I'm just so excited. We have a couple of people here joining us live. If uh, anybody has any questions, please do pop them in the chat or raise your hand. I would love to be able to ask Lisa to share your questions with Lisa. Uh, feel free to put those in the chat. Um, Jean admitted. Um, let's just see if anybody has any questions because I do. That's the wonderful thing about doing it this way. We can have a, a few people on live. So if there are any questions. Yes. So far, nothing. But I do have a question. So I remember when I used to get a lot of headaches. I don't anymore. 
I think it's because of my diet, but somebody taught me to, to put um, my fingers oh, here. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. That's a, so, that's a very popular acupressure point for, uh, for the head as well. Yeah. So, so, so what you do is you, you put the, you align the crease of your thumb to the web and then press down. And that's how you locate that point. Uh, yes. Until, uh, until I find out these body, mini body maps, I use this very often too. And that's, that's part of the, the bigger uh, control panel, which is actually the whole body. And this is one point on the large intestine uh, acupuncture channel. Um, so that, um, yes, that is definitely uh, one of the uh, very common uh, headache points for people, not just headache, for toothache, anything happens in the head part, this uh -huh. will be a good point. Oh, because I've used it. Well, I mean, I don't use it any now, now yeah. because I really don't get many headaches. But yeah, it, it got me through a lot of difficult times because <laughs> I, I did have headaches a lot when I was younger. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I, 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 any, any other questions? Let's see. Nope. I don't so see any. I could tell you my, my headache uh, story. When I was climbing Mount Kilimanjaro six years ago, when I get to the top, near the top of the mountain, this is 19,000 foot uh, high mountain, and uh, oxygen is only 40% at, at the top. So I was, like most people, I was having high altitude sickness, and that comes with uh, headaches. Yes. So, um, so that's what I did. I, uh, I press on my finger, I press on my ears, and within 30 minutes, my headache gets clear and uh, I was able to uh, breathe normally. <laughs> and it's miraculous. That is actually the first time that I am so grateful for my inner doctor <laughs> being with me. Uh, you know, before I was just, uh, you know, uh, practicing as I what I teach what I learned from textbooks and all that and uh, and seeing miracles in my clients but myself I did not get a first hand experience oh well yeah and, now you know yeah it no, makes it even makes you and, even yeah. more anxious so, to share it yeah after that time at the top of the mountain I cry I say to myself if I can do this Everybody can do this. And I have to tell the world that um, our inner doctor is so loving. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. What a beautiful place to end our interview. Lisa, this has been fantastic. I know that many people are going to get a lot of great, great tips out of this. And I hope they will reach out to you again, folks. The, the website is the Center for Healing by Design.org. And if you want to get the free workshop, chbdworkshop.org. Please take advantage and I will make sure that those um, websites, those links are in the show notes. Thanks again for joining us, everybody. I'm going to say goodbye on Facebook. Lisa, stay put. I'll be right back. Thank you, Kate. Thank you so much. <laughs> there we go. Lisa, that was Awesome. Thank you. I learned so much today. And, and I'm going to definitely do that workshop. I have some neurological issues that I'm going to talk to you about privately. And I think okay. um, that might be uh, when watching you today, I think you just might be the person to help me with those. So thank oh, you very much. Thank you, Kate. Thank you for what you do. I really acknowledge you for you being out there for a champion for the brain. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I don't ever want to see anybody do have to go through what my mother went through. Lisa, it was awful. I, I oh. you know, her last two years of life were just horrendous. I wouldn't wish that on the, the worst person no. in the world. It's just not. Right. Thank you, Joan. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. My grandmother also uh, had Alzheimer and yeah, so it's similar situation. Um, and I, I could imagine at that time, I wish I knew what I knew to help her. I know. 
I know. And that's why I'm so I'm so passionate about this now, because yeah. now that I know I was too late for mom, by the time we knew what was going on with her, it was yeah. too late. So that's yeah. why I'm so passionate. And people who are still on this on this video, please pay attention. It is time now. It is not time when you're already sh showing, uh, exhibiting signs of cognitive issues, or if you're having brain fog, or if you're having continuous headaches, you know, now is the time to look after yourself because we are like your inner doctor, your inner doctor is going to thank you. And it's going to show you that you're doing the right thing. Absolutely. Thank you, Kate. Thank you. <laughs> we, we really uh, are the champion uh, uh sharing the the blessing the power of the inner doctor <laughs> perfect perfect what a wonderful way to stop this thank you again lisa and thank you everybody for joining us and we will see you again next week on um, brain health matters live